So we put this up on Twitter. Um, so we started with hashtag fix it, uh, fix the country. Um, but whose fault is it? And um, we said, is it at JDM, that's JD Mahama? Um, is it at Akufuado, question mark? Is it COVID-19? Uh, is it COS? Is it media? And uh, or whom? Deputy Minister Finance joins us tonight on Good Evening Ghana, on Good Evening underscore Ghana, to tell us about the new taxes and to answer questions on the why, the what, the when. Hashtag Good Evening Ghana. So now let's look at uh, the responses. Let's look at the responses that, that came and then we can, we can run some commentary on it. So this was at, uh, at uh, Adomotri. This is our Twitter page. You can get there and, and follow us and see some of the things that we do over there. Every now and then we post something, sometimes controversial. So let's, let's have a look at this. Okay, so that's uh, at Adomotri. Let's, let's move on. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, Magic and Miracles. He says, JDM has been out of power for five whole years. FFS, I don't know. It's about time this lot started taking responsibility instead of shifting blame and deflecting whenever the people demand accountability. That's uh, Magic and Miracles' response. He says, JDM has been out of power for five whole years. Okay, so that's his response. Let's do it quickly. Next one, it says, uh, unemployed CEO. That's how he calls himself, at Nuguasi. Okay, he says, you know the effects when the anger is overflowing. You cannot be bold for once and speak to a matter in the current administration. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you, he says. Okay, let's move on. Kekeli Ple Nyatefe says that, uh, replying to Atadomotri, at JDM, and two others, he says, Master, we are not in normal times. Stop misbehaving. Who is the president of Ghana today? Fix the country and you are asking whose fault you are in your second term in office and you are still thinking of as JDM times are hard hold yourself up so we don't bring the heat on you bring the heat on baby bring it on no problem <laughs> it's about nation building you know I get excited about these things because about nation building I, I don't mind whatever people say when I post a tweet or Facebook I, I don't mind it doesn't worry me at all. it's nation building I don't think we should be insulting each other, but people can choose to do what they want to do. It doesn't worry me when people insult me. I don't, I don't mind. But nation building is great. Let's, let's, let's think. You see, I always talk about the thesis, the antithesis, and the synthesis. It's always important. Let's be intellectual about our work. Let, let's think. That's the only way we can change our country. We are going to change this country for sure. We are going to change this country. So starting like this, we are talking. I'm, I'm, when I finish... I'm going to postulate over here, standing on this table, I'm going to postulate and I'm going to say a few things. People should respond and then we build a country and then we tell the politicians what we want them to do. It's fantastic. In 1996, Ghana was not like that. You, you couldn't do that in 1996. You couldn't do that as much as you can do today in 2004. You couldn't do that as much as you can do in 2008. So in terms of public communication and discourse and young people getting interested in our country, especially our people abroad, getting interested in our country, having the mechanisms to talk about things happening in our country, having Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, to discuss matters in Ghana with Ghanaians in the diaspora, Ghanaians in the global village, it's fantastic. I love it. Let's think. As we begin to think and think and think, we will arrive at a solution. Okay, so Divine says that, is JDM still the president of Ghana? The last time I checked, he was president for only four years. Nana is in his fifth year. Stop the hypocrisy. We didn't vote for Nana to find fault, but solve the problem. We are, we tire plus corruption, failed leadership, and insensitive taxes. Okay. Uh, this one is from uh, Nana Bash. It says, for once, be brave and tell this administration led by Akufado to fix the country and stop dragging others in. Is John Mahama our president? CSOs and media. Did we elect them? Stop this life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Advice well taken. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, Semper Fidelis says that, do we pay our taxes to John Mahama? Okay. Uh, this one is uh, the graph. Some the graph. Yeboa says, we saw them constructing road in December on the eve of elections. Today, some of the roads have gone bad, plus plenty of those construction sites have been abandoned. And you hear tagging John Mahama. Eye, 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 
Eh, eh, yeah, oh. Okay, I think that's what he said. Eh, yeah, oh. That's it's painful. You know, he's lamenting about maybe what he calls my ignorance, something like that. But that's okay. All right. Um, next one is um, Kwame Ahin says that as Adomotri, we are not interested in whose fault it is. We are interested in solutions of which Nana Kufado and Baumia promised us. We tired of always shifting the goal and the blame games. MPP said they have the men to fix the broken country. Let them fix it. Great. Okay. Uh, another one says, Mahama left office five years ago. Leave him out of this. I'm guessing this is the last one. Okay, so let's come back to the original tweet. Let me run my commentary. Uh, uh, Dr. John Kuma is here. Okay. Fix the country, but whose fault is it? Fix the country. That's what we said. Fix the country. But whose fault is it? Is it at John Dramani Mahama? Is it Akufuado? Everyone seems to have missed something in there. I put COVID in there. Is it COVID-19? I mean, I was concerned about Sam Jonas' analysis of Ghana's economy in 2020 without COVID-19. I don't know whether that disease has spread to affect other people, but we clearly are in a post-COVID era. I'm not so sure whether people don't understand that. I'm interested in fixing the country. Everyone is interested in fixing the country. But this is 2021. So in 2020, um, some of you who are complaining, actually, some of you are complaining, you have laid off your staff. You have. You have laid off your staff. Because of COVID in 2020, government could not lay off any staff. Government did not want to lay off any staff. Now, uh, Germany is shut down. Do you know that Germany, the European country, is shut down? Germany is completely shut down. Italy is shut down. Ghana is not shut down. Ghana has been a COVID success. Part of the reason why we have been a COVID success is that money was spent. There was water that was given free. There was electricity that was given free. We didn't advance these monies. It's not money that we had. It's a decision that was taken to postpone it so that we can save lives. Because as for lives, when they are there, lives can always produce. So taxes were not taken. In fact, taxes were stopped. For some people, like medical staff, they were given more money so that they will work more hours. And everything was as against normal. It wasn't normal times. So the leadership of the day had to take a decision as to what to do with this. And the leadership of the day in 2020 guided us through a certain leadership that we all applauded. The point about the taxes that are coming right now, I think, should be understood within the context of paying back some, actually not all, some of what happened. That's, that's all what it is. So I, I will come to your, your side. Those of you who say fix it, there's one part that I agree with you. I'll come and say that one. I agree with you on a certain part of it. I'll come and say that one. But really... What are we talking about? What is, and when they say it's hypocrisy, people are upset. What are we talking about? You, have you forgotten about 2020? All those shouting, shouting, shouting. Have you forgotten that we went through 2020 and we needed a certain leadership from government? Even the NDC that was in opposition found the need to set up a COVID advisory team to advise President John Dramani Mahama as the opposition leader, as the next important alternative government person in the country, about what it should be. President Mahama found wisdom to set up a COVID committee. 2020 was not great times. People were not laid off in government. The government didn't lay off people. People continue to receive their salary. People continue to receive their salary. People continue to enjoy free water. People continue to enjoy free electricity. Because at that time, people couldn't go to work through no fault of theirs. Government says don't go to work. The government has put impositions and restrictions and says you can't go to work. Now, if you say I can't go to work because my life is more important than the work, which we all agree, then what do I do? Government said, don't go to work, I'll pay you. Stay at home, I'll pay you. Do you know the number of civil servants in Ghana? Do you know how much money they produce potentially every day? Civil society makes a calculation of when there's a holiday, how much we lose. How much we lose when there's a holiday? Do you know how many people are in ECG, VRE, the Ministry of this, Ministry of that, Ministry of that, Ministry of that? All of them they didn't go to work. They had to stay at home. In fact, in Ghana, we complain already that even when we are working, our biggest budget is the paycheck for our civil servants. We already complain about that, that that's our biggest budget, the paycheck for civil servants. These civil servants, who we think produce little, under COVID, because of health reasons, they were not asked to produce. They were asked to produce nothing, to stay at home. Stay at home and be paid. Stay at home and be paid, but this time don't pay electricity, don't pay water. Have we forgotten? So when we come to 2021, there has to be a way to recover that. Or do we say there should be no way to recover that? I'm not a fan of taxes. I'm not a fan of corruption. I'm not a fan of mismanagement. I'm not a fan of political ineptitude. I'm not a fan of, of dereliction of duty. No. But when you are dealing with these things, deal with them intellectually. Don't close your eyes. Remember your O level and A level. Didn't you do economics in O level? What are you talking about? Didn't you see 2020? 
That's what Sam Jonah was doing. He talked about 2020. He didn't even mention COVID. Really? I mean, I get totally shocked. Yeah, the lights are off. And that's why I'm coming to agree with you. That's inconvenience. And it's, it's excellent. So we don't like that. I don't like that. The, I, I spoke to a, 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 a caller right now. He said his water is not flowing. Those are fundamental basics that I believe that government must produce. And that's why every day in this office, every day we are calling the Ministry of Energy. This morning we have called them. They told us that they are having meetings with CSOs and they'll get back to us quickly. Because we want a daily update on what is happening. We don't like that. But if you come to talk about fix the economy, don't talk about fix the economy without understanding that there was COVID. Or without or pretending that you didn't understand the whole COVID economics. Maybe you didn't understand the COVID economics. Go and read it. Find somebody who understands it to teach you. COVID economics, go and learn it. There's something like that. It's called COVID economics. 2020 was an un unusual year. Ghana was one of the few countries that grew at above zero. Most countries were doing negative. So please, when we come to 2021, and government says we should pay some, I don't like taxes one bit. I wish I could circumvent, circumvent all of them. But at least in doing the analysis, I understand that there was COVID. Let's not forget about that. We run a COVID economy successfully. And we should be grateful and thankful for that, that we have skill set in our society that was able to lead and run COVID economy successfully. If we have run a COVID economy successfully, there will be something to pay for it. I don't like that one bit. John Kuma is going to come here. I'm going to ask him very hard questions. I'm going to even ask him that he should reduce it. You see today, because he put so much pressure, have you seen the statement from uh, the telecom, uh, what do you call it, the petroleum chamber? They've reduced the taxes from 17% to 9%. Well, that's okay. But I like that because it means we are putting pressure on them. We are forcing the government to think harder. Because if it could be 9%, 9 pesos of the tax, why was it 17? It is as a, as a collective action of all of us. Those of us in, those of, those of you who think that we be bold and say, be bold and say, be bold and say what? You too, be bold and learn COVID economics. Be bold. Open your book. Read COVID economics. Learn it. Don't come and tell me be bold and say anything. Go and be bold and read your book. That's important. COVID economics. Go and learn it. So that pressure that we put on government, it has occasioned government to, re to respond to the thing and to reduce it. That's how it works. But let's not talk about this. I, I have no problem criticizing the government. I have no problem with anyone criticizing the government. The government itself has no problem critici being criticized. You saw the president receive questions from CNN. But in doing the criticism, let's be analytical. How can you talk about fix it, fix it? You've forgotten that it was COVID. Really? Why, why are you behaving like that? Let's not do that, yeah? <laughs>